Okay, this is the uh, end of course test for the Tennessee end of course test for Algebra 1, so Algebra 1 Part B. So this is the review. I'm going to try to do the first five here. Now, the first question has what looks to be like a quadratic in there. It's a polynomial. Um, and it asks us to factor it out. There's a couple ways that we could do it. The first way is the most base way of doing it, which is probably the way that you may have thought of when you started doing it. And that's just to find the factor list. Now, x's are... Uh, the variable here anyway. X is a variable that I like to use. You may hear me moving around trying to get some paper. Um, so the X here is a has a 1 in front of it. So we don't need to do anything weird with it. No slide and divide here. We can just factor it out. Now I'm going to look at this sign. That sign tells me that the uh, parts of my answer are going to be different. If it's a negative, it's different. Or a minus, I'm sorry, it's different. Now I need to do a factor list for 54. So I've got 1 and 54. I've got 2 and 27. I've got 3 and 18. And if you forgot how to do a factor list, you just need to divide 54 by 1 and see if you get an integer answer. This is me dividing it by 3, and I got 3 and 18. So I'm going to write both of those things down. and then 6 and 9. Now, when they are different, I'm going to subtract and try to find this middle answer. If this was a uh, plus, I would have both negative or both positive, and I would add the factors to try to find the middle term. But in this case, I'm subtracting because they're different. 9 minus 6, that won't give me 15. So you have to be careful because 9 plus 6 does give you 15, but since it's negative and they're different, you're subtracting. I'm looking for positive 15, and I know that 18 minus 3 does give me the 15 that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is put my 3 after the minus, because it would take minus 3, and the 18 here. So my answer is this answer right there. I could also use the calculator method if you want to be really lazy. Uh, make sure your x is not equal to 0. See, this one is. So to fix that, I'm going to do y equals, and then graph 3x plus 5, or whatever. That'll flip the x to something else, to 10 probably. Yep. And then I can type in x squared plus 15x minus 54, and I'd get 61 or whatever you happen to get. The number is irrelevant. I'm going to try the answer choices. That one doesn't work, so I'll go straight to the one that I know works. Oh, see, I forgot to put my x in there. plus 15x, minus 54, and it gives me 196 for both those. Sorry about this one up here. I forgot to put my x there. So if you get some weird number and none of them work, start checking your answers for that kind of issue. Also, I could have tried just doing the uh, doing multiplying binomials here. I could have done x times x. This one would have given me x squared minus 3x uh, minus 54. But that's not what I'm looking for. So I uh, any of those ways would work fine. Eventually, if I had done this one, I would have got this answer. So any of those ways works fine for number one. So if that's how you want to do it, that's how you got to do it. So that's the answer to number one in three different ways for the end of course test for Algebra 1.